What's up, everybody? Gerald Hassan, these children send light to my house in the prize. Mr. Shift, your perspective. Just wanted to, um, I've been just thinking about all kinds of stuff today while committed to my task. And, you know, I'm like, what do I want to speak to the people about today? You know, what I want to talk about today. And, um, while doing everything that I was doing, getting myself prepped and ready for this moment, this is what came to mind. You know, I, I have to stay along the line of what Enlightened Minds Enterprise is about, and which I have already reiterated before. Um, I'll say it again that Enlightened Minds Enterprise is about the in the bettering of our social health, the bettering of our social health, and I mean just the way we deal with each other. You know, making our improving our, you know, improving our health in regards to how we respond to each other. You know, one of the things that I realized when I was, I, I was incarcerated at the age of 22 on um, this last, this last time. And, you know, every time I thought I had figured it out and was trying to get out and so on and so forth. I don't want to say this, make this a whole long thing because there's just one little piece about this that I want to add to what I'm about to say. And it's that <clears throat> while I was, they gave me 40 years for gun possession. It was my third time down, so they laid me a habitual criminal. And they gave me 40 years for gun possession. And uh, <clears throat> they gave me 30 years for drugs and 15 years for another gun possession. So anyway, moving forward, I was eligible for parole at four and a half years. So I went before the board um, and, you know, typically with dudes in prison, dudes I always wish a person good luck, you know, hope you do well and so on, you know, hope they send you home. And when I had come out, you know, I was like, I'm not ready to go home. And they was like, what, what you mean, why? I said, man, because if they let me out right now, I haven't changed, bro. It's nothing, I mean, I didn't know what change I was looking for, but I did know that where I presently stood, that wasn't it. I knew that, and, and you know, it's all about the grace of God, but something was put on to me to where I realized I had to Figure out another way of responding to the world. And, you know, you know just what I know. The world consists of people. If there isn't no people, really, I mean, what is life, right? If it's just you, the only one here. You know, we've seen movies where, you know, it's like no, if the, the world is dead. The world has probably been attacked by zombies or whatever. It's only one. I think it's that movie with Will Smith and I Am Legend or something. And it's money everywhere on the ground. Money everywhere, but it's worthless. Because everything that you can basically want on a material level is there, but I mean, it's nothing you can do with it. So, in a way, with all that being said, people are the world, but I knew I needed to respond to the world differently. That's my point. So, um, with that being said, that's what Enlightened Minds Enterprise is about. We need to get a better, just think about all the bad things you can think of. It always have something to do with another person, another human being. I mean, just from the beginning of time, as far as we can reach back and investigate it, it has always had something to do with another human being. So, that's what makes life good or bad. The kind of relations we have. So, 
Tonight, I wanted to briefly talk about, you know, a lot of us have, I mean, we, we believe we have the right, I mean, we have the right, but I think we don't. I mean, we, we believe we have the right to judge other people. And when I say judge, because that is a term I believe is used very loosely, but what I mean right now, I'm using it in a very common way right now. So what I really mean, though, we have the right to want to Better yeah, I think judge was a good term for this. I think that was the proper term. Because we like to say who's wrong. We like to say who's wrong, how you wrong, why you wrong. And it isn't based on no accepted law of authority that you know, shared by you or that person, it's just, that's the way you feel. And really, a lot of times today, most people love to characterize people, love to put people in some kind of category category of good, bad, slow, fast, impatient, uh, aggravated, aggressive, um, I mean, whatever, all type of relative character, I guess character like describing type of categories. That's, that's the best way I can put it right now, you know, for my level of education and understanding. You know, I'm, I'm being real with you. So, I mean, but we like to, I mean, we quick to, I mean, we quick to want to say something about how that person is doing what they do. But as soon as someone say something about us, who asked you? Why are you all in my business? You know? Most of us are hypocrites. Most of us cannot accept the very thing that we want people to accept. And the reason why I say want people to accept because we actually get in our feelings and get an attitude when someone do not accept. We do things to people. We say things about people. We have opinions about people that we don't want to be done to. We, want, we don't want to be said about us. We don't want uh, to even be thought about us, to be felt about us. You know, we quick to say, but you don't even know me. And you judging me. You don't even know me. But look how many people you judge. On a daily basis. You know. I I'm going to tell you something. I'm very big about consideration. I'm very big about gratitude. Those are two big. You know. And I'm big about not being a hypocrite. I'm big about. Being about what I say I'm about. You know. When I get home. I mean. When I get home. When I get up. When I move around. Whatever. I try to do for myself what I would do if I was having company, or if I was going to pick someone up, or if I was going out to be seen. I want to dress a certain way all the time. I want to have my house presented a certain way all the time. I want to smell a certain way all the time. I, I don't want to be the type who should do certain things to impress somebody. Because I want them to think this is how I really am. When in truth, this is how I am sometimes. It just all depends on how I'm feeling. This is how I am if I feel like impressing you. This is how I am if, you know. I mean, that's that's me. I, I, I really, I, I pride myself on always be being able to be caught in raw form all the time. Judging people, man. Always talking about people. Always feel it. We have to check that instinctive reaction. 
responding to life, responding to people. Yeah, sometimes people would seem to be driving too slow for you. Sometimes you would be in a rush, you're running late for something. It seems like the whole world is driving slow. But whose fault is it? Is it their fault really for driving slow? Is it your fault for not leaving early enough so that you don't have to be in such a rush? That's one, that's one of my personals. <laughs> You know, and I'm telling you something with some of this stuff that I'm telling you. I mean, I have to check myself on a daily basis about. I have to check because a lot of this is done out of habit. That's why we even have to we have to watch how we play. We have to watch how we play because you know how they say how you practice you play. I mean, like in sports, how you practice you play. You have to practice like you play. I mean, because you're creating a habit. Practice it so that you can instill things inside of you that, that are natural mechanics. Because the more you practice, the more you do it, the more it comes, the easier it comes to you. Well, that, that's, that same science is also applied when moving about to and fro day to day, dealing with each other. That same science is applied to, you know, the things we want to accomplish or not. I'm telling you, when you make a habit of avoiding difficulty, avoiding challenges, that will be your instinctive habit every time a challenge presents itself. So I'm saying that to say you have to fight against the habit that our culture that society now I'm, when I say society I mean like in in the world that we know some of us are from different places but I'm saying for me and I know the world I'm from right here in Houston Texas I'm saying the culture wherever you from because this is abroad this is not like no particular nationality this is not like no particular race this isn't a particular class group this is I mean this is everybody people are so inconsiderate of other people we don't know what they may be going through. The person may be driving slow because they may be finna have a stroke. They may have some kind of medical issues or whatever the case may be. Their brain might not move mechanically as fast as yours. You're, I mean, the way we have instinctive response to the things when we drive it, their brain might not function like that. They may have been in a bad accident where they're shocked. I can easily say, well, they shouldn't be driving. But I don't know their circumstances. They have a right to drive. If they, if they got a license, they have a right to drive. Who am I to say you don't have a right to drive? But I want you to tell me that. Just because you don't like how fast I'm driving, my, my car might be raggedy here. And it might only can go so fast. It might not take out, take out as fast as yours. I mean, the point I'm trying to make here is that we never really know what's going on in nobody else's life, man. And instead of trying to figure it out, instead of trying to figure it out, treat people as you want to be treated. That's the easier route. I mean, you have to just really be more mindful and think about the way we deal with each other. So just treat people as you want to be treated all the time, man, all the time. Yeah, some I, we might not do exactly what we we're complaining about, but I can I can guarantee you that we do something that fits along in concept. What I mean? Maybe I don't drive slow in front of people, right? I'm just using an, an, an example. Maybe I don't drive slow in front of people, but and, and, and so so this person who or let's just say this here, maybe I don't drive slow. So I get mad at people who do, right? But let's say when it comes to taking my time doing something, let's say um, I, I take, let's say when people wait on me to get dressed, I take forever to get dressed, and people get pissed off about that with me. About like, goddamn man, why you take so long to find you something to wear? And they don't understand my process with this man. I'm just I'm a Libra. I'm very undecisive, man. I don't. I gotta put shit on sometimes and take it back off if I don't like the way it look on me. You know, I mean, I just better visualize the way I look and when I, I'm tab. I pretty much know wherever I'm finna go when I step out the house. So I need to be able to put something on that almost fit everywhere. So that ain't an easy task. But my point is that 
You may not be a slow driver, but you may be a slow eater. You may be a slow walker. You may be a slow reader. You may be uh, a slow worker. You may be a slow person in the bathroom. You may be slow to shower. I mean, it's, it's, it's just whatever it is, we want consideration. We want to be given the same consideration and respect that someone else may want. And sometimes, man, I'm telling you something. We cannot have been loved properly for so long that we don't even know what it feels like. Therefore, we don't know how to receive it because it's not in us, nor do we know how to put it out. So, sometimes, excuse me, <laughs> my ears are the issue. But sometimes, I mean, it's just, when it comes, some people, because of that, they're not always going to be I mean, you can't you can't pattern yourself off people. I mean, you can't just do what they do and so on and so forth. Some people would do some things and that's that's they battle, that's they war, that's they thing. But I'm saying again, the the best way to govern yourself, the best way for me to govern me, is just trying to do you know what I want done to me. And I mean, that's all. That's that's all. That's, that's the only really answer I have for that. I mean, but it's something that I felt I needed to say too. You know, I felt like, I mean, this is everywhere. I'm gonna tell you something, man. When you when you are very conscious of something, you know how people say, "What's your pet peeve?" When you have a pet peeve, right, about something, you can try your best not to say that. But if that thing that you have a pet peeve about continues to happen, <laughs> it nags the shit at you. You know, and so I'm sure all of us have those different things. And I have many different things that I'm very aware of. Some things bother me more than others, but I'm very considerate. I'm very grateful. So I don't like complaining too much. I mean, I don't like to hear complaints. I mean, I understand we go through things and we want to verbalize some of the stuff sometimes. But, I mean, I mean, like complaining, I hope you know what I mean. I mean, that don't do it for me. That drains me, you know. I mean, I've been a complainer before. And, it almost destroyed me literally. So it's just one of those things I don't do. But you know, with all that being said, yeah, I'm not really trying to just keep you long. I'm not been talk long enough, and now I'm just kind of freestyling some more. But my whole point, man, just be more mindful, be more considerate of other people. I mean, treat people like you want to be treated, man. You know, you ain't perfect. They ain't nobody's perfect. I mean, you have to live like that. You can't act. You can't say that, but act like you're perfect. Say I know I'm not perfect, but I act like I'm perfect, but I want you to treat me like I'm not perfect. I'm going to act like I'm perfect, but treat me like I'm not perfect. And, shit, I think I have I said that just now. <laughs> so, I mean, but you, you, get, you got what I just said, you know what I mean? I mean, we need to act like we know we're not perfect and treat people. Like, I know you're not perfect either. And whatever your vices are, it's no worse than mine. I mean, I say that, but I'm telling you, I mean, we all have the challenge because we wasn't raised up in a type of environment that cultivated what I'm saying. So, anyway, man, peace and blessings to everybody. And, um, y'all have a good night. Peace.